The Michael Roberts Hoax There's an Australian father trapped in Hollywood, California with his children, desperate to return to Australia. He's been trapped in the United States by an evil female judge who hates men and doesn't understand the law. Cue the credits. Pull out a hanky. Put him on the cover of People magazine. But just like the feel-good hit of the summer, the Michael Roberts story is not real. He orchestrated the deadly home invasion targeting his wife, who is home alone with their children. She was hailed a hero for protecting their children. Michael Roberts failed his only police polygraph administered by the Department of Criminal Investigations, DCI, and confessed to the real motive of the home invasion. 60 Minutes Australia purchased Michael Roberts' script, also known as checkbook journalism, and twisted the story which has left the hero mom in prison. Listen to 60 Minutes Australia lie about the police polygraph. Whatever Michael was telling himself, he got caught in the web of lies. So much so that he would come under suspicion for involvement in the murder when a police polygraph he took was inconclusive. Again, they just claim to show you the police polygraph. But look, up at the top, it's by Richard T. O'Brien and Associates, Inc. in Illinois. It's not the police department. It's not even in the right state or even on the right date of the police polygraph. Oh yeah, here you go. The actual DCI polygraph that Michael Roberts failed at the Storm Lake Police Department. 99% deceptive. Michael Roberts claims on his own website that DCI, the report you just saw that was 99% deceptive, was inconclusive. But here's the good news. Dateline NBC actually interviewed the sheriff and the townspeople about Michael Roberts. Listen. A lot of people wondered. A lot of speculation. Do menus today? Speculation that Robin Paget heard dished up over coffee and eggs at her diner a few blocks from the Roberts home. The name that kept coming up was Michael Roberts, Tracy's second husband. I don't think people trusted Michael. He came off as this, I'm better than you, I'm smarter than you. He was too sure of himself, maybe. Obviously, the husband is always a suspect in most cases involving an attempt on a wife's life. Sac County Sheriff Ken McClure, who took over the case in 2003, said investigators had been intrigued by Michael Roberts from the get-go. Who was this Australian businessman who'd moved from Chicago to tiny early Ireland? What is the draw? You know, law enforcement officers with careers that have gone on for a while have seen, you know, the criminal element move out of the cities and into the rural areas. So I think you just gotta sit back and look at that and say, why are they here? Police asked Tracy's husband to take a polygraph. He failed it. The fact that he failed a polygraph, yeah, I, I had to think, maybe he is involved. 60 Minutes Australia and Michael Roberts claimed that the police polygraph was inconclusive, but that was a lie. In fact, when Roberts is at the police department, he is told by a special agent and a lieutenant that he was 99% deceptive on if he arranged for Dustin to be in his home, if he planned in advance for Dustin to be there, and if he knew the name of the second intruder. Michael Roberts claimed he was flabbergasted. He knew he failed the polygraph. He gave a re-interview. If you click on the link and look at the report, you will see that both he and 60 Minutes lied. Now, with 60 Minutes, what happened? Were they confused? Did they not understand? Were they bamboozled by Michael Roberts? No. Both Michael Lesher and Danny Keynes, the producer, were hand-delivered all of these same documents in Iowa. I personally reached out to Mark Britt, the CEO, Matt James, the Managing Director of Media, and Hal Crawford, Editor-in-Chief of the company that owns 60 Minutes Australia. They have all of the documents and they know that their entire piece was a lie. They paid for a story and they put a story up that their viewers, their demographics, what would appeal to them. 
It's not factual, it's false, it's a lie, and I feel it is disgusting. We will cover this more in additional videos. Thank you.